Students, this is NCRT problem 8.4 from page number 269 of redox reaction, right? So, let's read this statement. Justify that the reaction 2Cu2O plus Cu2S give rise to 6Cu plus SO2 is a redox reaction. Identify the species oxidized and reduced which acts as an oxidant and which acts as a reductant, right? So, here we are having a reaction that is 2 cupric oxide plus copper sulfide give rise to copper in its elemental state plus sulfur dioxide and we have to prove that this is a redox reaction right so let's see what is actually redox reaction right so a reaction in which reduction and oxidation both are occurring is known as redox reaction so i can say that this red represent reduction and OX represent oxidation. A reaction in which reduction and oxidation both are occurring is known as redox reaction. Now, in this reaction, we are having 2 cupric oxide plus copper sulfide give rise to 6 copper plus sulfur dioxide, right? First of all, we will find the oxidation state of the elements present in the molecules right so firstly i'll see cupric oxide right here i know that electronegativity of oxygen is more than copper so the oxidation state of oxygen will be minus 2 and i'll assume the oxidation state of copper as x right so this compound is a neutral compound so overall charge will be 0 so x into there are two atoms of copper so x into 2 minus 2 equal to 0. So, 2x minus 2 equal to 0 and uh, I will take this minus 2 on the other side of equal to and it will change its sign. x will be 2 by 2. So, I can say that the value of x is plus 1. So, the oxidation charge of copper in Cu2O is plus 1. This is for 1 copper, right? And the oxidation state of uh, oxygen is minus 2. Now, again, let's see the copper sulfide. Here, I know that the electronegativity of sulfur is more than copper. So, the oxidation state of sulfur will be minus 2 and I'll assume x over here, right? So, x into 2 minus 2 overall charge of the compound is 0 so I'll assume 0 over here right so 2x minus 2 equal to 0 so 2x equal to I'll take this minus 2 on the other side of equal to and it will change its sign right so x will be for sure plus 1 right so I'll mention the charge over here so the oxidation number of sulfur is minus 2 and the oxidation number of 1 copper is plus 1. Now copper I know that any element that is in its atomic state or in molecular state carry zero oxidation state right so the oxidation state of copper will be zero now i have to find the oxidation state of sulfur in sulfur dioxide right i know that the electronegativity of oxygen is more than sulfur so the oxidation number of oxygen will be minus two and i have to find the oxidation state of sulfur in sulfur dioxide right so i'll assume x over here so x minus 2 there are two atoms of oxygen so minus 2 into 2 now this compound is also a neutral compound so, so the overall charge will be 0 right so x minus 2 into 2 will be minus 4 so when I'll take this minus 4 on the other side of equal to it will change its sign that means the oxidation state of sulfur is plus 4 now if you see the oxidation state of copper on the reactant side is plus 1 in both cupric oxide as well as copper oxide. So, I can say that it is reduced because oxidation state of copper is decreased from plus 1 to 0. Now, if you see the oxidation state of sulfur on reactant side is minus 2 and on product side is plus 4. So, the oxidation number is increased. So, I can say that if oxidation number is increased, 
oxidation is happening over here so in this reaction both oxidation and reduction is happening so this is our redox reaction the next question is we have to find the oxidant and reductant so firstly i can say that copper is reduced from plus 1 oxidation state to zero oxidation state right and sulfur is oxidized from minus 2 oxidation state to plus 4 oxidation state now if you see the above reaction definitely it is a redox reaction now next we have to find the oxidant and reductant now if you see in this reaction further copper oxide helps sulfur in copper sulfide to increase the oxidation number the oxidation number is increasing from minus 2 to plus 4 so you can write over here increase its oxidation number that is minus 2 to plus 4 therefore copper 1 is an oxidant and sulfur of copper sulfide helps copper both in copper sulfide and cupric oxide to decrease its oxidation number from plus 1 to 0 so i can say that therefore sulfur is reductant in short you can say that the element which is oxidized is reductant and the element which is reduced is oxidant